So far you have mainly used GPT-4 or all these language models or multi-model models, namely with your text or image-based data. But have you ever thought about how you can put your videos as an input to these models, namely GPT-4.0? Although you might say, no, they don't understand video as an input. But maybe there's a solution because video is just a bunch of frames, which are pictures. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can enable video-based use cases using your own video-based data to have your use cases enabled by these models, namely GPT-4.0 or any equivalent model. Then, let's go! Before we start, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you will get notified for the next video. Thank you. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna quickly show you how you can utilize capabilities of language models like GPT-4 here to actually interpret your videos and do some video analysis or do some video-based use cases because usually people think that these are just text uh, models mainly or being able to just upload images and stuff but maybe ideas that leverage videos are far from your mind but I'm gonna just show you quickly with a very simple example which is actually from opening a cookbooks how it can open doors actually for creating some use cases based on videos to give you an example here I'm running this Google Collab example that I'm installing OpenAI and OpenCV Python well OpenCV is an open source Python code that a package that is used for mainly computer vision capabilities which we need actually to deal with videos and frames of videos so with having importing essentials I need I ran this code and I then remove my API key what I'm doing here I'm actually uploading a video and my purpose here is how can I uh, generate a narrator a voice actor on the top of this video so what is the video to just quickly show you it's a video that shows some scenes about nature, waterfalls, oceans, so on and so forth. And as you can see, it has nothing, no voice, no music. But how about if having a narrator talking about this, all generated by AI, but how can I give my video to, to AI here? So here, videos are nothing just frames. That means we are still dealing with images. That's why I'm using OpenCV. With OpenCV, I'm loading this video that I showed you. And I'm going to one by one through all the frames of that video here. And I realize that I have 523 frames or better say images that are generating my video here. So to display some of them every 25, zero milliseconds, I'm just running this. Oh, I need to, I think, run this just quickly. And now for now, I don't need the key here. Just want to show you how frames are moving. Here I'm just putting a time slip to show you randomly the frames that we are actually going through them one by one here using computer vision. If your video is longer, obviously this code is going to take a bit longer. But here is just a pretty short a video example. I think it's just a couple of minutes, not more than that. Right, let's see the result there you go so 523 and as you can see it's showing frame by frame so just want to show you the concept that this is technically video and I can have these frames which are getting captured here and showcased to me sending back to a language model so I'm gonna pause it for now all right so what is my prompt here I'm technically saying that hey these are the frames that I'm going to give to you and I want to generate a compelling description that I can upload along with the video. And then I'm going through all these frames that I'm capturing every other 50. Like for example, if this is the frame one, I will skip the next 50 and take the other frame because all the frames are 500 or too much. And we don't need to send all the frames. There's nothing happening within one frame and the next one, as you can see, like it's still the same scene. And then I'm using GPT-4.0. For doing that and as you can see an example I got a story that I can be used for on the top of the video by voice actually or another better example I'm gonna say that I want to have an script with the style of David 
only include the narration and max token is not this time higher that's why i have more text and then for creating voice i'm actually calling openai api for audio with using onyx as my voice and then with creating the chunks of voices getting generated by this size i have the full audio ready for me and here's the response in a remote corner of our planet the gentle rustling of barley fields whispers tales of ancient landscapes here nature's bounty sways gracefully to the rhythm of the wind the camera shifts revealing majestic waterfalls cascading over rocky cliffs carving paths through time these waters sustain life forging lush valleys and verdant hillsides and finally amid the tropical embrace of swaying palms we find the serene beaches of a tranquil paradise the crystal clear waters lap gently all right this was just a quick example that as you can see i was able to create a voiceover that i can later on edit my video and add it to this but this was just a very naive example to show you the idea of as long as you have videos and you can convert it to frames as we see as we saw that we can do so with computer vision um or open cv then you can just crump your model whatever you want to do any analysis you want to do over the frames have the text generated or even voice generated so the sky is the limit for even video based use cases using language models or model models model model models all right i hope you enjoyed this video if yes i would be very thankful if you could click on like icon i will add also this code reference to discord channel the link is on the video description below and make sure you share your thoughts comments or use case ideas in the comment section thank you so much